Hi, welcome to another math lesson. In this lesson, we use this sequence to understand arithmetic sequence and also how to derive the formula for arithmetic progression. Now, for the formula for arithmetic progression, we'll be familiar with Tn is equals to A plus N minus 1 into D. Now, if I have my arithmetic series, if I have a T1, I have T2, I have T3, I have T4, and it continues up to the last term, Tn. Tn can be a very long term. Now, for the T1, we always say that let our T1 be A, so that our first term, which is T1, we call it what? Our A. Now, the difference between the first term and the second term, that difference, we call that difference D. Between the same T2, the second term and the third term, the difference of D still exists. Between the third term and the fourth term, there's still the difference of D. Between the fourth and the fifth, there's still the difference of, between the, this is the fifth term, there's still the difference of D. The arithmetic sequence, whether I call it sequence, I call it series, is all the same thing. The arithmetic series or sequence continues until when I come to my Tn minus 1 going up to Tn. Between Tn and Tn minus 1, there is a difference of T. That implies that if my first term is A, my T1 is equal to A, my T2 which is my second term, will be the same thing as A plus D. From here, my T1 here is A. Then, obviously, my T2 will be this A, which is T1 plus D. My T3 will also be the same thing as, I've added it to be T2 plus D. That is, T2 plus D. My T4 will be the same thing as T3 here will be T3 plus D. Now look at it. If my T1 is equals to A, my T2 is equals to A plus D, I can conclude that my T1 is equals to A, my T2 is equals to A plus D, my T3, which is the same thing as T2 plus D, in place of T2, I can now substitute the whole of this in place of T2. That is A plus D, now plus D, which is the same thing as A plus 2D. My T4, for my T4, is the same thing as T3 plus D. That's the same thing as my T3, remember, is A plus 2D. My T3 now could be the same thing as, my T4 now could be the same thing as A plus 2D. 2D, I'm replacing A plus 2D in the position of T3 plus D. So that my T4 is the same thing as A plus 3D. Now I can continue this way up till Tn. So that your Tn, if you look at your Tn, here, when I add T1, is equals to A. When I add T2, is equals to A plus D. If you look at this, I can say this is A plus 1D. When I add T3, is equal to A plus 2D. When I have T4, is the same thing as A plus 3D. Now, the difference is, when I had 1D, I had T2. My N here is 2. So, when my N is 2, my, the coefficient for D here is 1. When my N is 3, the coefficient for D here is 2. When my n is 4, the coefficient for d here is 3. Then I can conclude that when I have tn for, any, for the nth term of this arithmetic series, I can have it as a plus n minus 1 into d. That is how we derive our formula for arithmetic progression, arithmetic series, or you call it an arithmetic sequence. Now let's apply it here so that. From this series, it's obvious that our 7, our A is 7, my T2 
is equals to 11. Our T3 is equals to 15. Our T4 is equals to 19. Now you observe that between, and it continues, you observe that between T1 and T2, the difference is, is 4. That means 11 minus 7, which is equals to, that's 4. So that my D, which is the difference, is equals to 4. My A, as we have seen, is equals to 7. So my T3, which is equals to A plus N minus 1, that's 2D, will be equals to 7 plus, that's 2D, 2 times 4, that's 8, which is equals to 15. Like you can see, my T4 will be equals to A plus 3D, that's N minus 1D, which is equals to 7 plus 3 into 4, that's equals to 7 plus 12, which is equals to 19, like you can see here too. The same thing applies to my T5. And if you're not asked to look for the 100th term or the 500th term, if you are asked to look for the 100th term, that's T100 of this particular sequence, all I need to do is plug into the formula, that's A plus N minus 1, that's 99D. That's equals to 7 plus 4 into 99. That's equals to 7 plus 99 times 4, that's 99 times 4, that's um, 36, this 6. 36 again becomes 39 plus 396. That's equals to 403. So you can see you, you can see the relevance of being able to look for the nth term of an arithmetic progression.